You are my redeemers in Jesus' name. Amen. Great is God's mercy. Amen. Yeah. Towards me. Yeah. Uh, his loving kindness towards me. How he always is looking out for me. Yeah. Always yeah. keeping me. Always yeah. providing for me. Yeah. Always loving me despite of my own uh, wayward ways. God has yeah. always been there. Yeah. He's been faithful. Yeah. He's been just. Yeah. He's been kind. He's been considerate. Yeah. He's been long suffering. Yeah. He keeps looking beyond my faults and seeing to my needs. And in other words, God's just been good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's all I can say is God has been good. Yeah unto me amen there is a word from the lord this morning found recorded in the gospel of matthew in chapter number 19 and beginning at verse number 16. that's the gospel according to matthew in chapter number 19 beginning at verse number 16. i'm reading from the niv translation so if my uh, word is a little bit different from yours, we promise to do the Bible no hermeneutical harm. It reads, Jesus, then a, just then a man came unto Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, there is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones, he inquired. Jesus replied, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you not shall not give false witness, honor your father and your mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. All these I have kept, the young man said. What do I still lack? Jesus answered, if you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven then come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. And I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. You can have your seats in the presence of the Lord. And I just want to tag this passage of scripture money can buy me love well. amen money can't buy me love amen. the great depression was a severe worldwide academic disaster that took place mostly in the 1930s mm. it was the collapse of the united states stock market that then proceeded to collapse the entire world's economy people suffered greatly during the Great Depression because there was limited jobs. Um, unemployment was at 23%. And put that into retrospect, when we had our recession in 2008, it went down 2%. The Great Depression went down 23%. Crops, uh, farmers couldn't even afford to plant any longer because their their product had lost its 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 uh merit well. everything uh sister gwen had collapsed and people lost their everlasting mind mm -hmm. one day you were considered the wealthiest man on the earth and the next day you was begging for soup mm. and people didn't know what to do. Problem being is too many people put their trust in money. That's right. That's right. And money That's right. can't buy you love. I am under the impression that money is the least way that God blesses us. Yes. It's the bottom of the barrel yeah. of yeah. blessings. Yeah. But we tend to put it at the top. And I want to let you know that money is not going to satisfy anything when it comes to you making it to heaven. Right. So you can store up as much money on this side that you can and you can still find out that it will not 
make you happy. There is just as many people who have all the money in the bank who is sad right now, who is miserable in their spirit because you'll find out that money just ain't the success that you think it is. And if you want to find out what's the most precious thing you could have, it really is time. There's nothing more precious than time. We wish we had more of it. We wish we could spend more time in it. But time is the most precious thing we can have. Walk with me. Do the text. This is a very interesting conversation that Jesus is having uh, with this young man. Uh, because... You can find when you study what this young man is, is requiring of Jesus, he had to understand the Bible. Yes. He knew the law, yet he was a young man. He came to Jesus and he honored Jesus for whom Jesus was. Lord, I recognize you have great understanding of the gospel. I recognize that you can decipher what is right and what is wrong and I'm coming to you that you might be able to explain to me what can I do to inherit eternal life. Uh -huh. He has this conversation because he wants to be able to spend eternity with God. Yes. And because he's asked a question about eternal life, you automatically know he's not one of the other folks who are denying who Jesus was. That's right. He believed that there is something going on after he dies. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a part of it. And asked Jesus, what can I do mm -hmm. to make it into heaven? The conversation Jesus asked, and any time we want to get uh, to eternity, we must realize that Jesus is the door. But Jesus tells this young man, even though I am the door, I need you to recognize that it is my father who has given you access to make it in. I know that you, 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 you see who I am, but understand this. You always need to acknowledge that it is my father that sent me. And you've got to just admire Jesus when he does that. We should be more about that. That every time something good happens, we ought to be able to tell somebody it's only because of the grace of God that that has even happened to me. Right. Why did you get this job? Because God was good to me. Yeah. How'd you get this? But God gave it to me. Yeah. How you walk in here today? God let my legs move. Everything that happens because God allowed it to happen. Yeah. God permitted and gave me the power just to do the thing that I'm standing here doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He has a conversation with the young man. Understand this, it's only one that's good, and that's my daddy. But if you want to enter into eternal life, keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. This was a strange conversation for Jesus to have with this young man. But if we understand how God is, God deals with us right according to what we are in our particular moment. Mm -hmm. Amen. He comes and meets me right in the muck. And the Maya, yes. right exactly where I'm at, which the things that I'm struggling with the most is where God comes to meet me at. Yeah. Yeah. His reply to him is, uh, uh, keep the commandments. And he wants to ask him, which ones? <laughs> see, see what happens is, uh, we, we, we want to talk about what we do that's good. Uh -huh. We don't want to talk about uh, what we do that's bad. Well, well. Let's talk about all the things, God, that I've done right. Uh -huh. We don't need to talk about that over there. Uh -huh. let, let, let's, let's just deal with this side of the equation. Because uh -huh. this side, Lord, I got this under control. <laughs> so, so let's just deal with, with that part. When Jesus tells him, well, let's go down the list of your list of accomplishments. You ain't killed nobody. You ain't committed no adultery. You ain't stole nothing. You ain't gave false testimony. 
Uh, you've honored your father and your mother, and you have loved your neighbor. Now, I know that because I'm God, and I'm God all by myself. I understand you, you've done all that. So, so uh, let me talk about those things that you've, that you've done well. Jesus will puff you up uh, before he lets you down. <laughs> Amen. I'm a, I'm a, before I, I, I get to, to your legs, let me, let, me, let me lift you up a little bit. Let me give you a, a little sunshine to, to put, poke your chest out for a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have been faithful uh, over some things. Uh, you have... You have come to church sometimes when you really didn't feel like it. Uh, you have you fed some folks who was hungry sometimes. You 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 you, you sang sometimes when you when your throat was hoarse. Yeah, well. you, 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 you 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 come out sometimes when you didn't feel that good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, you 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 have you have went and picked up a guy and brought him to church, which yeah, you yeah, you did all that. You you've done that, but but uh uh, but there's still something that's missing. Uh -huh. He said, I've done all them things, but, but what am I lacking? There, there's still something missing. Uh -huh. when, the, when we come with the answer that, that Jesus comes with, that's the part that we really didn't want to discuss well. with you, Jesus. That's, that's when you when you um, you in my business. When he tells you if if you want to be perfect, mm -hmm. mm, I'm ready to leave. He says if you want to be perfect, well, not if you just want to slide in, mm -hmm. but if you want to be perfect, you want to get a, a D or you want an A plus. Mm -hmm. Which 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 grade do you want? Mm -hmm. You want to say I passed? Or do you want to make God's honor roll? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be in the on the back of the bus where you just just got in? Well. Or do you want to be coming in where God is saying, "Well done, thy good and faithful servant." Mm -hmm. Where do you want to get in at? If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions. Mm -hmm. And give to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven. Well, and then come back and follow me. Yes. When the young man heard the answer, he sank his head and went away sad. Because mm -hmm. the Bible said, because he had great possessions. When did it come to to us that 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 money was going to make us happy? Well, that we thought that 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 if I only got a better job, I was going to be happier. Mm -hmm. If I only could see this much money in my account, well, then I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. But my Bible tells me to learn to be content in all things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether I lack money or whether I have it. Mm -hmm. Because it's not going to make me happy to have more money. Right. You, you ever been in a situation uh, to where uh, things were were kind of bad in your life, or or you seen somebody else going through something, uh, and you thought that if only they knew Jesus, well. he would make everything all right. Yes. Never did it come across. You thought that if only they had a little more money in their pocket, mm -hmm. they would be happy. Went to a funeral on yesterday where a, a twin sister had to bury her twin sister. Well. And she's sitting up there crying, looking at herself yeah. mm -hmm. 
in the coffin. Do you really think if I came in there and gave her $12,000 that her tears will stop on her face? But if you know that she is in the presence of God, that gives you a sense of joy in your heart. That money just came by. Yes, Lord. But you, they want to get caught up in the money. Uh, but I just don't get how you come to God seeking Him to find out answers to your questions. And then when God answers the question, but he doesn't answer it quite the way you wanted it to be answered. You walk away sad when God gave you the answer to the question that you were seeking. Lord, should I go left or should I go right? God says go left and you see left got some trouble in it. So you get mad and go and leave God and be sad. Why are you sad when I gave you the answer to your question? I gave you the solution to your problem and you're sad. Well. You want eternal life. Mm -hmm. But you're sad about what it will take for you to get it. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus tells you that if you go and do what I said you, for you to do, not only will you have riches here, but you will store up riches in heaven. Yes. And he still went away sad. But money, yeah, it can't buy you love. I like, Mama, how how close our family has become. Mm -hmm. I really like how tight knit we are. Mm -hmm. But it didn't come easy. Yeah. It came with price. Yeah. Yeah. To where you had to learn what is most important in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The most important things in life is the love that we have for one another. That's right. That's right. The most important thing in life is being able to see you come in here That's Sunday right. after Sunday. That's right. That's right. You can't buy these things. There is no price you can put on seeing your mama walk through the door. That's right. Money won't do all that. There's, there's, there's no amount of money you can get to be able to pay this, to bowl with your daddy Monday nights. There's no price for it. To be able to see your kids grow up and your kids start having kids, there's no price you can put on it. But we say all this, but the minute God gives you some money, you hold on to it as if it is pure gold. I said it's not. But what the problem here is, God searched the young man's heart and he saw in his heart what the young man held most dearly to him was money. So your uh, vice might not be money. It might be something else. That Jesus has to search in your heart to see why you're holding on to that. Because that thing ain't going to get you nowhere. Mm -hmm. Only what you do for Christ yes, yes. is going to last. Yes. Isn't it funny how Jesus tells us this? But he'll still yet he provides for us mm -hmm. despite of our waywardness. Yes, thank you, Lord. He'll still give you treasures on earth as long as you keep it in perspective. Yes. God says, I, I, I don't mind that you have having earthly possessions. Just don't put them before me. Uh -huh. I don't mind what kind of house you put in. Just don't put your house before me. Yes. I don't care how much you love your children. Just don't put them before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be uh, number one. But the value, uh, Sister Queen, that they put on money is going to hinder them from seeing God and experiencing a relationship with him like none other. But I, 
I just stop by to tell God that I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather have living in me a little bitty old house than to have a big old house on the hill and lose my soul. I'd rather walk the church in the cold than to drive a limousine that's going to keep me from seeing God's glory. I don't want nothing to separate me from the love of God. And if the money is going to be a hindering block, I need to let it all go. He said, if it's going to keep you from seeing who I am, you need to let it all go. If your friends are going to keep you from seeing me, you need to let your friends go. If, uh, if your job is going to keep you from serving me, you need to let it all go. Whatever might be hindering you from coming and for my presence, you need to let it all go. And if you let it go, I'm going to give you something for letting it go. Guess what? You left that job because you wanted to serve me. Guess what? I got another job for you. You them friends didn't want to come with you when you were serving me. Guess what? I got some more friends for you. I got whatever you gave up, I'm going to give it back to you tenfold. And it's going to be better than what you left on the back side. It's going to be better on the front side. And I'm glad that God has a good record of what we sacrifice for him because God's multiplication seems to be a little bit off. Lord, I only gave you two dollars and you gave me back twenty. Lord, I only left three friends and you gave me back forty. Lord, whatever I gave up for you, he multiplies it and gives it back to me twofold. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. If you lose your life, you will gain it. Yes. Whatever you sacrifice for the Lord, he replies, he repays it. Yes. And his multiplication is weird. <coughs> you remember in the vision? I don't know if we all hold it here. So we, we, we had the vision where you had to put the little bar thing up there. You had to write it down and go all down there. And your answer might be seven remainder two. That's God's mathematic right there. Uh, I, I have some left over from the stuff that God done for me. I, I had some stuff that had to carry over because all this stuff didn't add up quite right. God's multiplication is all jacked up. He keeps giving me extra stuff that I can't even add up because I sacrificed for me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Young man went away not understanding that God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. The whoever believing in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah. You ain't taking the money with you. That's uh -huh. right. You ain't taking them clothes with you. Somebody else going to be wearing your stuff. Yeah. Somebody else going to be driving your car. Yeah. Somebody else going to be living in that house. Yeah. Somebody else is going to have all that earthly stuff down here. All them Jordans sitting in that closet. Some of my other feet going to be in them. Yeah. But only what you do for Christ will last. Yeah. And thanks be to God when I get the glory, I got another closet yeah. of stuff waiting on me. Yeah. I got some more good things waiting for me. And it's better than the stuff that I gave up down here. Because God is a rewarder for all those who diligently yeah. seek him. Yeah. Yeah. That's Thank you. the kind of God we serve. Yeah.